Hey, so lovely to see you all. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good week. So it's Sunday morning. I think it's just coming up to 10 a.m. So I'm out with Amy, Daniel and Lauren. We're doing a 60 mile Cotswolds route. Morning. Which should be absolutely fantastic. There's no rain forecast. Although typically, we've just had a very, very light shower. So there's Dan, Amy's in front of Dan, then Lauren's in front of Amy. The leaves are starting to come off the trees. Autumn is here. Right, friends, what a glorious morning it is so far. We've only done a few miles. We're just going through a village called Barnsley, where Dan, there he is, you alright buddy? Alright. What's your trivia about Barnsley? This is, um, this early, this live here. We're gonna go past a house up here, right gate so you can't see it. Oh, okay. Um, and then the next town along, yeah. um, which is Bybury, you've got yeah. Anne Robinson lives there. Oh, okay. Uh, and then quite a few celebrities live up there. Famous movie stars, TV stars, celebrity haunt. Got one pub here called the, the Village Pub. The <laughs> Is this Liz Hurley's old place? No, that's too small. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, Manor. Yeah. It's like a fender, actually. You'll see it. Oh, gate. wow. Gate. Absolutely beautiful countryside. Oh, okay. So behind those walls is where Liz Hurley used to live. Absolutely marvellous Hollywood trivia for you there, friends. Your own trail. Where are we going? Left. Okay. Again, that's that Dan. What was that trivia you were just telling us? <laughs> <laughs> You're in the uh, nice Cotswold village of Bybury. Yeah. Where you've got Arlington Row, which is filmed, uh, featured in some films like Stardust and Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. So those row of houses just. We'll go past there in a minute, anyway. But, but also, if you check in the back pages of your passports, yeah, they are. You'll notice you've got some nice pictures. Yep. One of those is Arlington Road. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Really old, really old houses. There's also a trivia. It's also the most photographed street in the UK. Really? And there's an old guy that lived there. He's a retired dentist. Yeah. Uh, he had a yellow, bright yellow box of Corsa. And because people didn't like that car in the photo, yeah. they vandalised it. Oh, my days. Yeah, they've got so much media attention. Yeah. So I replaced his car for free. Good grief. Yeah. Well. So, Dan is a trivia king, isn't he? He is. If we had trivia pub trivia. quiz in Bybury, yeah. it would be with Dan. Dan and Lauren. And Lauren. Yeah. I had Lauren trivia earlier. Oh, it was okay. fabulous. Cool. So, what more to come? We're going right. to go past there anyway. I'm going to get my Absolutely phone Absolutely fantastic. Out. Ready for a shot. Yeah, there you go. Really old street. Look, Look at that. The oldest in the UK. Wow. So that's Arlington Street and it's in your UK pass. Oh, Arlington Road. Yeah. And it's in your passports, friends, if you have a look. That is absolutely beautiful. I mean, how old they must be. We'll have to Google it. Yeah. Fantastic. Carl back, Dan. We're going right.
friends can you see that beautiful mansion in the distance there that is owned by Johnny Ives who Dan reliably informs me invented the iPhone yeah he invented the iPhone look at his property if you think that's impressive if you see his house in San Francisco it's uh, really modern and high-tech oh wow but, yeah, oh. That. that's what inventing the iPhone can get you amazing Right, we better crack on, mate. That's another point of trivia. Sir Johnny Ives actually, yeah. when he was a designer in his young years, yeah. invented toilet seats, designed toilet seats. Did he really? And toilets and hand basins. Oh my yeah. God, so he went from toilet seats and basins to the iPhone? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you could see them then, friends, but I've got the uh, Goodyear F1 Eagle tyres fitted onto my fulcrum deep dish wall set. They're 28 mil. They were, they were actually a bit bloody expensive to be honest, 45 quid per tyre, which is ridiculous. Um, but I absolutely love them. This is my first time riding out on them. I mean, some of the roads are a bit moist in places and then bone dry. So I'm just kind of learning how grippy they are. Um, 28 mil, I've never had nothing less than a 32 on this Diverge. Um, and I've put tubes in them. I opted for the tube tyre. They do tubeless versions. Um, but yeah, I bloody love the look of them. So good, and they're rolling beautifully. So, so far, so good. Never smelled, never felt the rain. Rain, never felt the rain. From the small things that got in the way To the roadblocks that we had to face There's no moment I'd ever replace Cause it made us what we are All the days, all the nights, I'll be by your side No, we don't have to rush, we can take our time If you feel kinda lost, I'll be your light We can leave this world behind Beautiful smooth tarmac on this stretch of road. Who doesn't love freshly laid, beautiful smooth tarmac? One of the joys of cycling, I think you'll agree. For so, it. hey, you, how you doing? Good. Excellent. Really good. I thought I was time coming back to find us. I know, I did kind of think that. Yeah, this, is a, this is a stunning route, isn't yeah. it? Morning. Route. Countryside is immense, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, down in Lauren, are always so. Hiya. They just say, they say much about their local area now. Yeah. Which is a bit like geeky. And the facts. And so much to like, so much history, isn't there? So much history and scenery to take in. It's beautiful. And lots of cafe stops, apparently. And lots of cafe stops, which is always a bonus. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And the wind's not bad. Yeah, oh my god, the amount of rain we've had over the last week. We haven't been out. It's been rubbish, isn't it? Been swifting. No. Training on Zwift. I think we've done a lot of training. 
Oh, absolutely, and the FCC group ride as well. Fantastic. On Thursday night. Oh, it's so good. Have we had lots of new people? Right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone that was able to join on Thursday night for the Zwift FCC group ride. We've got another one coming this coming Thursday at 6.30 again in France. Viva la France! France from your own garage slash living room slash conservatory. Slash any other room. <laughs> Absolutely marvellous. Right, so I've just stopped in a beautiful village called... Well, it's not a village, it's a town. It's yeah, really... Burford. Here we all are. Was there a factoid about Burford? Um, all the houses are on the wonky. All the houses are wonky, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as right. There, as, as proof. Let's just show you the wonky houses. <laughs> look, can you see that one there? Look how wonky that is. And down there. And then look at that church spire somewhere there. Look, it even wonks to the right. But it's a beautiful place. <laughs> you have the Cotswold Wildlife Park in Burford. Yeah. Yeah. And once, I think a lion escaped from the Wildlife Park and they shot it. Oh! Yeah. Like, um, what was that series on Netflix? Um, the Tiger King. Tiger, Tiger King, King, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's a bit like that, yeah. Where it's in the Cotswolds. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what we call If you dive, I will follow Through the fire and the smoke If you dive, I will follow We've got serious cafe legs now. After that 20 odd minute cafe stop in Burford. Oh my days, I'm struggling guys. There's some grey clouds up ahead as well, which don't look particularly groovy. There's Dan and Lauren. There's Amy. Passing through Stowe on the Wold. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing places. Gorgeous little village. So lovely, Dan, isn't it, mate? Cheers. Glad you it. Oh, it's beautiful. Another uh, quite popular tourist location, this one. Oh, really? Yeah, I think a lot of the Cotswold towns are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice architecture and stuff. Yeah, oh man, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, water mill there friends, look at that. Oh okay, it's beautiful. The map's saying we've gone the wrong way. The map's gone the wrong way, we're supposed to go down there. Oh, should we turn around? Well we had a cracking lunch stop in Borton on the water 
Unfortunately, I didn't film it because I was feeling absolutely bloody terrible. Long story, had a had cheesecake poisoning last night. <laughs> Massive reaction to dairy. I shouldn't have had it. And I was feeling absolutely pants all night. Um, didn't have any breakfast. And then we stopped at 40 miles and we had lunch. Prior to that, I didn't know or think I could complete the 60 miles. I just had nothing in me. Um, but Amy, absolute superstar. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> just hit a muddy ravine. Keep going. <laughs> what a tit. <laughs> I nearly lost it then, you friends. Did me, I did that earlier. Yeah. yeah. That was bonkers. Well, you saved yourself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Crikey, I'm all over the place. Anyway, Amy went to Londis and brought me a baguette, filled it with avocado, um, hummus, and falafel, salad. and salad. And we both had one of those, homemade on the park bench. With a, with a, a knife that you had managed to grab from where? A wooden knife that I'd got from the cafe stop in, where were we? Uh, yeah, you know, where were you on that hill? That hilly high street? Oh, uh, Burton. Burton, yeah. Burton. Yeah. Well, we, we have to, like, chop up the avocado and have it on a uh, paper bag. Yeah. I mean, Amy was just... Now, right? Hey? Yeah, I was just going to say, after eating that, I feel 100% better. And I have a medical snack. And Amy's got a couple of emergency vegan pasties <laughs> revealing from her back pocket. Just stowing away <laughs> vegan pasties. <laughs> nice. Yes, I feel so much better, guys. You look better. Thank you. So we're uh, kind of on the last leg now. We've got about 13 miles till we get back to Dan's. It's, it's coming up. Oh, it's been a fantastic route. The it's coming up to 4 p.m. We've been lucky with the weather. I mean, it has been chilly at times, but it's you been so good. I was basically wearing Dan's jacket, Amy's high vis, on top of my clothes. I actually, to be fair, I think it's your high vis that I robbed. I, actually, you're spot on, yeah. <laughs> Love that. I love it. But yeah, so friends, feeling so much better. So, yeah, it's all good. And look at those clouds. Yeah, don't you just love clouds? Cloud formations. Absolutely stunning and fascinating. Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening And it sounds just like a song I want more berries and that summer feeling It's so wonderful and warm Breathe me in, breathe me out I don't know
friends, thank you so much for watching the vlog, the ride from Sunday in the Cotswolds. I didn't get a chance to actually finish it on the Sunday evening after the ride, um, mainly because I was feeling absolutely bloody ropey. But it's now Thursday evening and I shall finish it here. I hope you're all good. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in a couple of days with another vlog. Bye for now. If I could ever go without, what a sugar high. What a sugar high.